Yes, yes, folks, and welcome to my little veggie patch. Well, I got an opportunity today to do some gardening. I'm excited. I got this place cleaned up, and as you can see, it's looking nice and neat. I haven't finished planting it yet, and we're gonna go through a couple of planting tips here with my tomatoes. But let me recap on what I've done here, which I didn't take any photos or film because I got stuck into it. I wasn't gonna wait for the camera operator to come outside. He was too busy mopping floors, by the way. Anyway, so, what I do as normal, <laughs> what I do as normally here is I don't turn the base over. You can till it if you like, if the soil's really hard. In my case here, it's not underneath. It's soft and fluffy. All I've done is top dressed it and the layering effect. I've put my cocoa pith at the bottom and then I put some compost, sorry, reverse. I put compost down, then cocoa pith and then the planting mix on top. And that's what you see here at the moment is our planting mix dressed on top. And I've also, applied on top of the cocoa pith before the planting mix some black grit and a little bit more of extra superfood that we have so that combination together before the uh, the planting mix went on top now i have a mulched and normally i do mulch the garden beds instead of mulch the pathway so i can define it here we had potatoes if you can look at some of our previous episodes you will notice in one of the episodes where we're showing this section here, it's full of potatoes. They weren't ready to harvest, but I needed to get them out because I want to get my big malakas in the ground so I can collect them and give you more seeds because you all want seeds of it. Now, for those who are growing their own, you can collect your seeds as well. You know that they're open pollinators, heirloom, and they'll give you plenty of beautiful tomatoes the following season. Now, getting into the planting, we've done topic already on the layering and that's laying down the tomato on its side and burying past part of that actual stem itself. And what that does, it allows it to grow new roots. See it there? Now, these are advantageous plants, basically. They like to develop new root systems. Mind my dirty nails. I actually do garden, nobody else does it. Well, some people do, but not what I do. Not as good as me either, by the way. Mm. That's true, by the way. <laughs> hey, come back. It's okay. Hey, Cara, do you agree with me? Yeah, that's right. No, it's no. We all garden here together. We're all as equal. What the hell? What's wrong? Stay there. No, no, no. What is wrong? No, you're not coming in here. Sit, sit, stay, stay. He comes later. Here he comes, the troublemaker. Leave her alone. Hey, you're not having drumsticks tonight, mate, Vader. Leave her alone. So, what happens here? being so advantageous, it likes to push out new roots. What I'm pointing to here are little white bumps or bumps that are starting to appear. Now that's closer down to the base there. So when there's a little bit of moisture in the air, we've had a lot of that lately, and the humidity as well, that will start to grow aerial roots. Now if that was actually touching the soil, so like that, and if I wasn't to move it at all, guarantee you, and some of you will notice this if you let your plants ramble along the ground, you know, just growing like, you know, leaders everywhere, and they actually touch the soil. Where the, the stem touches the soil, lift it up after a month or two, and you'll find roots coming out of there. And that's what the tomato does, and that's called layering. Now, we've done it yesterday or the day before, planting it and burying it. This time, we're gonna do it like the traditional way, for me, it's traditional, and that's using the planter box or a pot itself like that. Now, the base has been taken out, for those who haven't seen the segment before, this is what it looks like, a pot without its base. Why we do that is as the plant grows, we top it up with more soil. And that's all it needs. And that will become more roots. So the bigger the roots, the healthier the plant. The healthier the plant, the better the production of fruit it gives you. And the more resilient it becomes. And especially if you use our liquid gold and eco butch, it will stimulate the microbes in the soil and the plant will love you for it as well. Now, dig in a hole. I'm using this cultivator. A lot of people like using a trowel, hand trowel, and you can see I use this one too, by the way. It's not as if I don't use all my tools, but digging it like this is fine to break it up. But I'll show you what happens when you do that only. Let me get this out by hand, all right? So imagine just using the, uh, the trowel, and it's already been dug. See the side walls there? By using the trowel and doing this and cutting a nice hole in it, you're glazing the wall of the hole there. That's all being glazed. And what I mean by glaze, it's compacted. Now, yes, the roots can push through that. And yes, we talk about don't dig your garden, but only dig where you're planting. And it's important to loosen up the soil so these, these little roots are able to penetrate through that wall more efficiently, more effectively. What I like doing is getting my cultivator and running it around like that and loosening it up. See how that's just broken away? 
and it's good to leave a little bit of loose soil at the base. I'm not packing it, I just removed the extra soil. Is it deep enough first? Yeah, it's pretty deep, that's good enough. So all we're going to do now is just backfill it, like that. You can press it down a little bit, just so it doesn't fall over in the high winds. But because we're using our pot, we shouldn't have to worry about that too much. So carefully bring the leaves in. I'm not removing the bottom leaves yet. Just going to leave it alone for now and just slightly press it into the ground so it doesn't move. And that's it. The weather's warming up, folks, so get out there and plant your veggies so you can have a wonderful spring summer crop to enjoy with your family and friends. All the products you need to be able to grow a big, beautiful garden, whether it's vegetables, fruits and flowers, or fruit trees, or even ornamental trees, you'll find it at facilitiesgarden.com and at our store in Coburg, 21 to 25 Munro Street, Coburg. Now, if you're watching this early in the morning or before five o'clock today, get into your cars and drive down to the Yarra Valley Plant Fair and Garden Expo at Wanda North. I'm going to be there all day. We're going to have a store there as well, discounted on everything, and lots of presenters there too present wonderful topics on gardening and Q&A, everything that you have, and obviously come along and share your great tips and advice and your successes as well. We'd love to see you there. From Eva Selly, Maresi.